the other distinction with Islam spreading. So, so one of the big differences is that because of the historical time period, Muslims never had weapons of mass destruction. We never had chemical weapons. We never had bombs. So the, the, the spread of Islam was not bloody in the same way that modern warfare and modern expansionism has been bloody. And uh, that's a big difference. The other thing is that Islam's expansion wasn't racial. It's a necessity, though, right? <laughs> Uh, out of, out of, out of the conditions that genocide is by necessity. I don't I mean, know about uh, that. They weren't as bloody as 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 as, as 21st century as 20th century expansions because Islam didn't have access to these to these weapons of mass destruction because Islam basically failed before these uh, before these weapons came into existence. I mean, I don't know how that's a uh, positive for the West, but okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, so then when it comes to the expansion of Islam also wasn't racial. It wasn't racial, whereas in the West, it is racial. The white race, the British and the French and Western Europe, whereas Muslims allowed anyone to convert. So when Muslims were expanding, uh, the, they in, I agree with you, they incentivized, they incentivized conversion to Islam. So yes, that is an imposition of values. But again, it's it's altruistic. It's not we're going to decimate you and uh, kill you because you're not Muslim. No, the in impetus was that we want you to convert, and that's why Muslim civilization has been extremely racially, ethnically, and culturally diverse. They've been united by Islam as a religion. We don't see that when it comes to many, the majority of other civilizations, past and present, which are ethnic in nature, racial in nature. We want to expand our race, our people, and that kind of violence that they have to use is on the basis, well, let's just wipe out. Racism is, for example, is, uh, it, it was a problem in the West, whereas uh, religious supremacy was a, was a problem in the, in, the, in, the, in the Islamic world. And that is, I think, the, the reason to this is might be uh, not very clear to many people, but it's actually very clear if you logically uh, dive into uh, into what these nations are built on. When Western nations con uh, con uh, converted to Christianity and uh, fell apart as an empire, they created nation states, and the foundation of their states were uh, the nation. Uh, this is the French nation, this is the British nation, this is the German nation, whatever. Uh, or, or the German nation was even tinier nations. But the point is that, uh, that the foundation of their societies were their, uh, their nations, their national identity, racial identity, skin colors, and languages, and uh, these, these values that they have. Whereas in Islamic society, uh, the foundation of the nation was religion. In Islam, race didn't matter, religion mattered. But if you look at it in the end, uh, while, while, while the Western society uh, prioritized uh, the race and the nation, the Islamic society prioritized uh, the religion, which is Islam, well, and, both or, and, op and oppressed uh, lesser people, minorities. Now, you could argue that race and uh, religion are not equal, are not the same thing, because you cannot switch out of your, uh, your, 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 your nation or your race, while you can switch out of your, of your religion as you wish. The Very crucial is that you are still a supremacist in terms of your values, in terms of liberalism. Okay, so, we all are. We all are, of course. Okay, yeah. okay great. That's all I want you to agree to. And, and the reality is that that liberalism, uh, penal punishment within Islamic law, it can't announce that without the entire world saying that it's going to uh, sanction it. That is brutal imposition. What were the methods used in order to impose... Uh, the threat of sanctions. The threat of sanctions. That's yeah, the, sanctions, is, what, what, sanctions are extremely are sanctions? violent. Can you, can you briefly define what sanctions are? Sanctions means we're not going to trade with your country. You're, we've gotten your country dependent on our money and our resources through trade, you're now hooked, right? You're hooked on the world economically. We're going to cut that off. We're going to cut that off. Like, haven't you read uh, Confessions of an Economic Hitman? Of course, of course. But <laughs> okay, but I, is that what, fiction what, or fact? What I'm trying to get, what I'm trying to get to here, here is you're saying that liberal values are brutally imposed on the rest of the world. But the example that you're giving is that is is simply uh, Western people saying, hey. If you impose a death penalty for gay people, then we will uh, stop trading with you. Yeah, to starve you. To starve you, yeah. To starve your children, like we did with Iraq. 500,000 children starved to death. And when Madeleine Albright, the Secretary of State under uh, Bill Clinton, was asked uh, in the 90s, uh, do you think that that's a cost that should be paid? 
uh, for uh, our values, for U.S. interests. And she said, yeah, 500 children, 500,000 children, no problem. Let them starve. Muslims never did anything like that. Muslims never <laughs> starved 500,000 children. Where? Show me. Agrarian uh, farmers and goat herders. Guess what? We're going to drone them incessantly. We're going to invade and make sure that their women take off the burqa and that their women are sent to read, you know, our Western literature. And we're going to drone them and invade them and we're going to drive them into the ground. Send them back to the Stone Age if they don't accept. Okay, I, I think we're going far off the point. So, uh, no, that, so that is the point. That is the, exactly no. the point. Let's what happens to the losers in the in modern warfare by the West? What happens to them? Well, they're they're in a crater. They're they're in a crater. They're dust. You can't even see their their remains. So, Wait, uh, come on, five hundred thousand children, Iraqi children, starving to death. That's I, I not know, force. I, I got it. I got it. Europe. Look at look at Germany. Look at Sweden. These are these are cultures that are as liberal as you could possibly get in our time. I lived in Germany myself. People don't care about religion. People don't care about tradition. People just want to be individualists. They want to live, live their lives. They want to go on. People are in, in all kinds of relationships. Everything is free. People are living their lives. Iceland. Look, Some crime of, is not the only thing, right? That's not the only factor I mentioned. These countries have extremely low crime rates. In fact, and this is something that what's I their suicide to. rate? Well, what's their what's their uh, mental fact, health I state? To get to this. I live in Muslim cultures. We all know what Muslim cultures look like, and uh, you, you can say that I'm just making an assertion without proving it. I will not be able to prove it. Maybe I don't know, but uh, people who are familiar with Muslim culture know exactly that uh, in Muslim culture, males, men are extremely intolerant when it comes to uh, tolerating very basic sexual needs. For example, uh, in a society like Germany, uh, we treat men and women in a completely normal context. We are friends, we, are, we hang out, we have equal rights. We have, no one even talks about rights because we are just equal people and we, 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 and we go and live life together. We are colleagues, we work together, we give each other a hand and all that. Whereas in a society like, uh, in, in, in Muslim societies, for example, or in societies or in people that uh, come from these societies into these Western nations, we see that uh, younger people who have been indoctrinated from the very beginning with the idea that uh, that they should not look at a woman, that a woman is uh, is unlookable, that you should not communicate with women. With women. These people become uh, extremely uh, impatient, extremely aggressive, extremely dangerous when it comes to sexuality. These people uh, resort to things like talking about sex with animals, for example, which is a, uh, a commonly known, very common talk in Muslim culture, where you can talk about having sex with a donkey or having sex with a camel or having sex with a cow, with a cow for example. Uh, people become extremely intolerant to, to, to seeing a, the, the female skin, for example, where, uh, where in Germany or even in countries like Serbia, which are far from uh, from Western liberalism, you see that uh, men and women uh, walk among each other and tolerate each other and look at each other and shake hands and are fine and the crime rates are low. Uh, but, but, but then a, a younger person, a younger male or even an older male from a Muslim society comes and although they believe that, they, that their ideal system, their ideal uh, society consists of uh, a marriage between a man and, and women or a man and four women, and that they should, uh, before that, not look at a woman and not, not communicate with women. You see that those people have extreme hardship in tolerating the, 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 the sight of a woman, that they resort to, uh, to harassment, to rape, to gang rape, and similar stuff. That porn usage, porn consumption, is, is extremely problematic in these countries once they get access to it, and once they can, uh, well, once they can just look at it. I mean, it, it, is, it is illegal in these countries, it is controlled in these countries, but nevertheless, you see that there is an extremely high usage of, of, of VPNs, of means to get around those bans and to just consume as much porn as possible. I come from a Muslim culture and I have to, I have to even argue and admit at this point that I am definitely much more intolerant to the desire to, uh, to, to look at women and to view them sexually than, uh, than, than my Western counterpart is, for example. A white Western person who grew up as a as a non-Muslim, who, who grew up with the idea that it is completely normal to, uh, to 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 shake hands and to look at each other, to talk to each other, to be friends together, is much more okay with uh, with tolerating women and with treating them well than I am. When when I see a woman, I get this uh, this almost this almost natural thing, which is not natural, but which comes from. Uh, from my environment because I grew up as a Muslim with the Muslim ideal th that when I see a woman I think of sex 
whereas uh, a, w a Western person who sees a woman thinks of a woman and of a, and of a normal person, which is why uh, inter intersexual relationships are going very peacefully and very nicely and much more uh, much much more successfully, much more based on freedom in the West. That you should crack down on people's basic desires. This doesn't work. It has never worked, which is why. Got it all out. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. What you're saying uh, is based on a very extreme right-wing narrative of immigrants as rapists. It is the stench of your corpse wafts into the apartment building and your That's neighbors notice the stench and they call these cleaning companies to come in and clean up your <laughs> decaying corpse because you've been there for three months example. that is that is let, let, let me finish let me finish you painted your picture of immigrant rapists let me let me paint a picture for you okay this is modern life this is the atomized existence in the nation state Okay? This is what liberalism wants for people. This is what liberalism is trying to impose on the entire globe. Okay? And uh, they're being I, successful because of people like you. But people like you I, who are propagandists against Islam advocating this kind of liberal freedom. Oh, you're so free. You can sit in front of Netflix and order Uber Eats. So much freedom. Just pursue your dreams. Right? Your college everybody, loans, you have a hundred thousand dollars in, no, no, let me finish. You have a hundred thousand dollars in, in, in uh, college loans that you have to pay off. So you have to work some soulless job so you can make enough money because you're so far in debt. You can't depend on a stable, loving relationship because all of society is, is pounding into your head that you have sexual freedom. You need to be active, sexually active. And you're consuming all of this media that glorifies fornication and adultery. You have a system that's telling women that, oh, you shouldn't be tied down by a man. You're independent. You're an independent woman. Okay? You need to oh, spread your wings. Right? Yeah. This is, this is a dystopia, man. This is a dystopia. <laughs> this is, this is worse. George no. Orwell couldn't have imagined the kind of dystopia that we're living in. Okay, okay, that's how crazy it is. That's been normalized. It's all yeah, part of the liberal, atomized nation state plan. Islam is the all healthy sexuality. You're sensitive to the beauty of a woman. How, how about some of these uh, modern Western <laughs> so you, porn, like addicted, porn addicted porn uh, addicted boys in Britain? Like it's a public health crisis where they can't even uh, they can't even get off through sexual relations anymore because uh, porn has uh, restructured their minds and their pleasure centers. They rather sit in front of a computer and masturbate, well, these I, Westerners, than actually have true. relations with a woman because a woman doesn't actually uh, arouse them anymore. A physical a woman is necessary. The system of, of the, the punishment system is, a, is, an, is an issue. This has nothing to do with the, with the, with, with the race issue. You brought up that, uh, that, that, that the Western uh, system of punishing society is a failure. Yet, what exactly is a failure about it? And how is racism relevant to this discussion? <laughs> racism is part of the failure. The prison industrial complex... It has nothing to do with the topic, though. <laughs> you're, asking me why is a, a you're asking me why is, a a fail why is the failure. I give you a reason why it's a failure, and you say it has nothing to do with the topic it of has, discussion. Okay. I don't know how... Am I you're speaking saying, like a different language here? You're saying, the, you're saying the prison and punishment system in America is a failure... And people are protesting it. Yeah. And then you are, and then you are arguing for the alternative of an Islamic punishment system. Yeah. But then you bring up racism as reason of the failure. How is racism relevant to comparing the Islamic punishment system to the American punishment system? Or the it exists in system? one and doesn't exist in the other. That's why it's relevant. It has no, of, of liberalism. It is contrary to liberalism. No, I disagree. Look at all of the liberal thinkers: John Stuart Mill, Immanuel Kant, Hume. <laughs> Look at David Hume. Look at all of the, look at Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. They were all white supremacists. That's why their statues are being toppled right now. We agreed. For, we agreed before our chat that uh, that we uh, that we will have very simple, short questions and short answers. Your your, your questions. But this is a complicated like a whole propaganda of, of no. Of, of it's what, not propaganda. These peer-reviewed research is propaganda. I will mute you for a second. I'm sorry. You're presenting a study. I have muted you, yes. I don't want you to go into lengthy 
uh, lengthy presentation. I explained, I explained how it supports my point. Let me finish the argument without interrupting you. You're, you're, not, you're not finishing arguments. You're building... A <laughs> yeah, I know I'm not finishing because you interrupt. interrupt. And then you might mute, mute me. You're That's why I'm not finishing arguments. Argument. Let me finish I, I the step-by-step -step points. Daniel, Daniel, you see, you're not Daniel, letting me talk. Simple, simple let, let me finish my points. Answers. I don't want you to go... To go for yeah, of course you don't want you years. don't want the actual full argument. I know because every time I bring up I research, point. I bring up points. You say this is pseudoscience. You just hand wave. That's the only way that you're arguing. You don't want to confront the evidence. That is, that is, it's okay. The very okay. Of our conversation, Look, in, the very in, if you of can't our handle the points that I'm bringing up without re resorting, oh, but this doesn't make sense. Okay, that's your response to everything. Oh, this doesn't make sense. Okay, make an argument, make counterpoints, but you don't even let me speak. Okay, let me finish the, the argument. Oh. Let me finish the argument. You have universal disgust reactions. Why is Daniel, that? From the very beginning of our conversation, I have agreed from the Why very beginning is, to you that you know, this is not meant to be a debate. This is meant to be. A I'm not debating. I'm just making, trying to make my point. If it's not a debate, why are you interrupting you me? Can, you cannot make me. You cannot even let me make a fucking disclaimer for one second. Are you kidding me? I thought I thought I was being I, I thought I was too emotional and too impatient for for a discussion. I seriously thought that before we had this discussion, from the very beginning of this conversation, you have numerous times talked for five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, and I haven't interrupted. You have as well. Whenever, whenever I begin to talk, you are throwing in so many things. It is ridiculous. We're not getting anywhere because I cannot say it. I cannot put a single thought out there without you interrupting me. And I have to listen to you talk for seven minutes. Look, you want to put a timer? You want to put a timer? We can put a timer. Five minute allocation, me and you. We can leave that, we can leave that to a debate. I, no, I, because you interrupt my points it. before I can make them. You interrupt my arguments before I can complete them. Let me finish the argument. Daniel, this is the, this is the 20th time that you're finishing an argument. And whenever I say something, when you are done and I begin talking, there you are interrupting. This is this has turned into a circus. This is ridiculous. This is not a conversation. I am here trying to have a conversation with you, not have a not have a minute long discussions from your side, and then a, a fifty second or, or a fifteen second talk from my side, where, where after you interrupt again and, and bring up and bring up all your five minute points. This is not how this conversation is supposed to work. It doesn't work. This is not productive. This is not I, this is not ideal. This is not mature. This is, this doesn't go anywhere. It just doesn't are you, work. Are you finished you grandstanding? You yeah, you okay. Are you finished grandstanding? Are, are you like a really... Are you a victim here? Are you kidding me? Why, why, I, are, you, I, why are you crying I, about I, it? Look, I, just I, talk. I, I, Let me finish a, an argument and then respond. Isn't that what rational discourse is about? Yes, and you haven't allowed let, me to do that. Because you haven't let time. me articulate the argument. I did let you speak. You remember your whole immigrant Muslim rapist rant? Did I yes, let you speak I, in because that? I, because I yelled and because I told you, please let me speak. And that was only. I'll, the I'll let you speak. Let me finish the argument, then I'll let you speak. I, I, cannot, I cannot go with, go on with this, with this bullcrap anymore. Let's keep, <laughs> it, let's keep it brief. You are not making a point by bringing up lengthy uh, references to some papers that no one will and be then, able to look up. I tried to justify my points. I tried to bring evidence for my points. Unlike you, I don't just hand wave and say, oh, it doesn't make sense. I actually bring evidence and step by step argumentation that's the difference between the way i argue and the way that you you rant this is this is not a debate that's why i talk an argument I doesn't mean debate do you know what argument means it doesn't mean a debate an argument I, I, means argument, premises argument and a conclusion where you, where you cite, where you an argument means cite. premises and a conclusion i'm not arguing with you in the sense that i'm having a fight with you that, i'm presenting an argument premise one premise that's two premise three that, conclusion that's why, that's why I told you before, uh, days ago that we're not having a debate, we're just having a... I'm not having a debate. Having a, a natural, normal conversation, not a debate. I know. Because a debate is something where you, where you, where you, bring, where you make 20 minutes uh, introductions and 20 minutes uh, or 5 minutes or 10 minutes points for and against the argument. That's what you do during a debate. In a conversation, you here. also present an argument, you present a point, and you support it with evidence. You have, you have no idea how a debate works or how, how a conversation yeah, works. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm, uh, where's your philosophy degree? Where's your uh, credentials in debate and argumentation? Oh, oh, wow, wow. <laughs> I mean, you're saying I don't know what debate I'm, means. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't have, I, have, I haven't studied philosophy. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, clearly, you clearly you haven't. I mean, you don't even know what an argument is. So premises There's and a conclusion. In many conversations I can have with people, to when I have a conversation with argument. someone, look, when I have a conversation with someone, they allow me to finish my points to make a complete thought, a complete argument, and then they respond to it. But you keep 
just like Armin and these other ex ex Muslims, you don't let me finish the the point. Okay, uh, and, and you're complaining about it's. I'm bringing in too much data and evidence. Like that's a complaint. I thought you're interested no, in the I'm, truth. I'm not. That, that that is a ridiculously stupid accusation. I'm not. I'm not accusing you of bringing in too much data and evidence. That's not what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm I'm accusing you of bringing up bringing up irrelevant evidence that doesn't irrelevant. Really that doesn't lead to your point at all. You're bringing it up as a study. According example, to you, you just hand wave. It doesn't lead to my point. How? Look, okay, it's let me is, simplify. The, let me simplify the, the argument. The I'll make it. I'll summarize it. I'll summarize I it for you. Look, I'll, I'll summarize very close. Come on. This is the one single time. Uh, he muted me, by the way. Daniel Hikikachu has done this for, for five, six me, times. So. This is the one single time. You're muted, by the way. No one can yeah, hear. I know. This My audience can hear me. This is the one single time that I will actually appeal yeah. to the audience. And See, say, he can't really, audience, he can't really deal with evidence. You decide for yourselves how often has Daniel Hikikachu been allowed to speak and how often have I... How often has Ridvan hand-waved and said that, decide. oh... This is ridiculous. Okay. Go ahead. Do what you want. All right. So it's, it's very simple. This uh, when you have a bottom-up society. Forget about it. Forget about it. Go go to the go to I, the, This is the point. Why you think? Bottom-up okay, society, sure. stable family structures lead to the maximum amount of happiness in society, according to Jonathan Haidt, many other sociobiologists and evolutionary biologists. This is why certain things have evolved from an evolutionary perspective, which I don't agree with, but your evolutionary scientists and anthropologists and psychologists agree with this. And certain kinds of behavior is contrary to stable families. Homosexuality is one of them. Uh, adultery, fornication is a major uh, problem, creates a major dysfunction within society. And Islam deters that with punishment because of the high cost that comes to society. Very simple argument that is based in uh, scientific research, anthropological consensus. And this is one point um, sure. where you said that uh, you mentioned the... Uh, quality of life in the West and the um, progress that the West has made and that shows how uh, people are happier uh, in the West today than they have than they are in other places in the world and you had said earlier that this is because of values Western values liberal values why is it the case that you have many countries in the world such as in Eastern Europe in South America, in parts of Africa that have adopted these values because they're not uh, Muslim. These are non-Muslim countries, but they suffer from poverty, uh, from economic depression, despite the fact that they have these values uh, of liberalism, freedom, and equality. How do you explain that? If it's just values, if it's just values that results in progress and advancement, then, then what else? I wouldn't think it's just values that that, 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 that do that. I would think uh, values are a big part of that. And, uh, considering that that the Western that Western society was built on these values, although um, when Western society has pursued those values with the interruption of of the uh, Christian dominance and the Christian the Catholic Church, which was eventually um, uh, opposed and defeated by, uh, by 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 the reforms by Protestantism and eventually by the Enlightenment. Uh, Western society has been built on these values and has existed with these values for uh, for, 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 for 2,000 years. 2,000 years? That, of course. I would argue that Western society has uh, has come to the point that it has come and has been successful. I thought you were an atheist, basis. not a Christian. You think the, val the values of the West originated with uh, Christianity 2,000 years ago? No. I'm saying I'm saying um, I'm speaking of, of the of, of when we speak of Western values and in, in, in history and in society we're speaking of uh, the, the the Greek and the Roman uh, origins of society Western society was not unique in that Western society was not one entity Western society uh, spread as an empire and forced other Western uh, geographically Western societies to change and to adopt the Western values, which we nowadays call Western values. We base these Western values on uh, old Greek philosophical, philosophical ideas, on uh, values of the Roman Empire, on later Christianity, and finally on Enlightenment values. This is what Western values are about. You could uh, consider Christianity as part of that or not. I would personally say that Christianity is a part of that, but that Christianity is also um, you don't have to credit Christianity for it, but it is part of it, yeah. So then what about these other Christian countries, like I said, who have also been Christian for centuries, 
and they have had access to um, the Enlightenment values, but they are suffering economically. They haven't in 100 years, over 100 years of having constitutions and democracies and freedom of uh, speech and all of these values, they are still suffering and they haven't developed. Which, which countries? Give me an example. Uh, look at e any country in Eastern Europe. Look at Ukraine. Look at even, some would say, any country in South America, Central Eastern, America. Eastern mm -hmm. European countries are not, are not entirely based on, on, on Western values, which is why we don't group them. When we group cultural groups, we don't group them as, 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 as the West. We group them as East or Eastern Europe. As, uh, because they have, because they have a, because they were partially uh, separated, both uh, both at the beginning and also especially after the adoption of Christianity, these two uh, cultures were separated by the schism of Christianity between West and East, and uh, Western cultures uh, such as you know um, all the, all the all the uh, Central European cultures, uh, Western Western European cultures uh, have have stayed loyal, have been built upon. Uh, much more on, on, on the ideas of old Greek philosophy and from the Roman Empire than the Eastern part. The Eastern part has grown for at least 500 years separately than, than the Western part. How about part. Greece itself? <laughs> How about Greece, the economically depressed country of Greece? Greece itself. Is that Greece not based on Greek, ancient Greek values? <laughs> like where these values are so magical that bring progress and development so many of these countries that I'm giving you as an example, and you always have an excuse like, oh, it was Orthodox Christianity doesn't lead to success and progress that's found in Eastern Europe. Only Catholicism that's and Protestantism uh, is Western values. No, that's but not the West, the West, the West is the West. The West is not the East. The West is the West. <laughs> yeah. So why? What's the success of the West based on? And you're saying that it's Greek philosophy. Uh, Christian, Western Christianity, I mean Catholicism and Protestantism, and yeah. Enlightenment values, like these three things that have very little to do with each other and come from completely different time periods and historical context, somehow magically is a secret formula that brings mm -hmm. progress. So that means the rest of the world that didn't have Christianity for 2,000 years and didn't have the influence of uh, the church, then they can't ever have the success of the West. Is that what you're saying? That that's not what I said. No, that's absolutely. Well, not that's what why I asked you. What, what what do you attribute that success to? And you're mentioning two thousand years of Christianity. So what's the I, I, magic I'm formula? I'm saying that I'm, I'm saying better. A world where the West is in a position of complete dominance is that a happier world or a world where the West redistributes all of its wealth to everyone else? and raises the quality of life of everyone to a, an equal level across the globe through forced redistribution. Which one is a happier world? Can you answer that question? I don't know. That's a, that's a very uh, different scenario that I... That it's a I simple would, question. Just, just answer the simple question. Which one's happier? It's, it's, Which one's oh, happier? Is, how is it a simple Which one's happier? Which one's happier? No, no. It's simple. Happier. <laughs> the West having all the resources or 90% or of the wealth of the world in the hands of the West and everyone else have, having to deal with the scraps and the crumbs of the West, is that a happier world or a world where everything is distributed equally over all countries for all people? Which one's a happier world? I, I don't know. Maybe it would be... Oh, oh you don't know now. Be, oh, okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it would be, maybe it would be if, if the West distributes everything equally to the rest of the world. Maybe it would, maybe it would be if the West dominates and the others just... Oh, so domination can lead to do a better, happier result. I thought you were utilitarian. No, that, that's that, that's not that's not what I mean by that. What I mean, I, I don't understand what that has to do with our with our discussion with our. It's point. okay. It's okay. You're, don't worry about it. You're, you're, I don't. I, I I seriously don't understand how this has to do with the, what, what this has to do with the point. I don't get it. Yes, you're, you're saying your, your that you're saying was, that your question that has uh, living a wonderful quality of life. Uh, but that quality of life came about through brutal imperialism, brutal colonization, brutal genocide, stealing the resources. That's how you get the West with 90% of the resources of the entire world. It's through coercion, through force, through rape and genocide. And now you're sitting and praising uh, this civilization, but then sitting back with this mealy mouthed kind of excuse. I don't agree with imposing values. That's completely inconsistent. 
<laughs> no, I I believe I believe that I believe that the West is uh, in liberalism and enlightenment ideas. The West has found a a great system which is based on oh, yeah. the whole idea of the whole idea of great. of finding out what is true and uh, oh, yeah. and and guaranteeing guaranteeing human happiness by certain means like uh, slowly making progress. That that's the that's the that's actually a, a core idea of liberalism, which which we should have. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I think your approach to justifying Islam and Islamic law is a very unorthodox approach because I would I would expect someone I would expect a a traditionalist Muslim to uh, to not use scientific means or uh, or, or cert, certain means where you explain how logically apo- punishing apostasy is good for society, but rather uh, the the Islamic way for arguing for that would be just to say, well, this is what Islam demands. What Islam demands is right, or what Allah demands is right, because what, what, that's what, what it, you what expected. It looks like to me is, sorry, that's what you expected our conversation to be. That I just say whatever no, I, Islam I, says I, is right, no, and I, that's I, it. It's not what I expected our conversation to be. I think. I think when uh, when when people who defend Islam resort to to using uh, to to using certain ideas in order to justify why their Islamic laws make sense, rather than rather than uh, rather than sticking to the Islamic fundamental fundamental sources, which don't actually give us any reasons why apostasy is wrong, I would think that that's an unorthodox of arguing for Islam, and which 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 I think even many Islamic scholars have uh, criticized and shunned. No, no. When as, you look at as apologetics in Islam, which is considered, which is which is considered deviant by many traditionalist Muslim <laughs> scholars. Uh, when you look at Islamic history and uh, Islamic scholarship, uh, they uh, th- when they would um, write about different rulings within Islam, uh, they would write about the wisdoms, uh, the hikmah of different rulings, and they would appeal to a wide variety of mm-hmm. arguments. And they did this on the basis that Islam is a rationally coherent religion, and that someone who is a non-Muslim can come to see the wisdom and the beauty of Islam by reflection, and, and thinking deeply, and thinking clearly. Uh, Good job on that day. And it wasn't meant to be a debate. You acknowledged that it wasn't a debate. I acknowledged that it wasn't a debate. But maybe it was a debate, it turned into one, and I lost. He refuted all of the arguments you make. You only have like two or three arguments. Like you have a science argument, you have a science argument, you have an Islam is not liberal argument, and you have like certain points about free will. You have just three basic arguments. All of them have been responded to multiple times over. It's like a waste of time to talk to you. Even now, I'm wasting my time talking to you because your whole career is based on three basic points that you just repackage okay, and I put on your channel over and over and over again. I'm not that's interested, that's I'm not re- interested in like repeating that. all of this okay, stuff. Okay, uh, don't, ask be don't be scared. Calm down. It's okay. I'm just asking questions. Don't hey, be scared. You're the one who had an anxiety attack on camera. Uh, the Quran makes many claims. Like in the in the in the Quran, uh, a prophet is mentioned like uh, Elias, for example. Elias is taken from uh, Hebrew, uh, Eliyahu, uh, in English known as Elias and stands for my God is Yahweh. In Christian and uh, Jewish belief and culture, this is very normal because they have many of these theophoric names because their God is named Yahweh. Even in way, according to the Abrahamic belief, the biblical belief, God's name from the very beginning to the very end is Yahweh. And he makes himself known as God or as Lord and so on to different people. Just because it's actually not unique. Like, do you know the history of the word Yahweh? Do you know the history of this? Well, if you want to go into the historical mm-hmm. aspect, I would completely uh, disagree with the biblical aspect here and say that the name Yahweh developed over time uh, okay. and was adopted from polytheistic oh. beliefs into a monotheistic <laughs> belief. But that would completely interfere with your Islamic no, beliefs I, as well. No, it doesn't interfere with Islamic beliefs yeah, because sure. we believe in tahrif. We believe that the Bible has been corrupted, that the Hebrew Bible was corrupted. It doesn't actually, it's perfectly consistent with Islamic beliefs that a polytheistic name Yahweh has been adopted in the from the Canaanite polytheistic religion when? has been adopted into the Hebrew Bible and mixed with other a Christian or a Jew that you're you trying sh- to make this kind yourself, of argument. You're shooting yourself no. in your own foot right now. No, no, no I'm asking, are you a Jew or a Christian? Are you a Jew or a Christian that you're trying to argue from the perspective of the, of the Bible as if it's coherent, as if no. it has no historical question? And say it evolved from, poly- from polytheistic views. I say that there is a historical aspect and a perspective. Uh, uh, if, but if you want to go by that hypothesis, Daniel, then that would be shooting yourself in the 
video on foot because I'm I'm hijab. Done. No, it's I'm not done. about him. I'm done. I'm it's not about that. Scumbag. Yeah. Calm I've, down. I've calm down. Calm down. I have made don't, a be don't, don't be shut scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I have. You, don't you be scared. Don't you be are scared. Don't like, be scared. Don't 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 he can't hear us. He can't hear any of us. He can't hear any of us. Oh. I made a debate over Muhammad's job. I'm mute on Zoom. I'm mute on Zoom. I'm mute on Zoom. I just want to say one thing before you. I mean, you can go if you want to. That's just gonna. It's just gonna say something about your spirit here. It will say something well, about you. Look, Everybody, you go if I you like. I make a video about you right now. I made no, a debate. Look, 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 look. We respect you, and we stop cutting you off. Please, please, please. Can you stop? Calm down. Calm down. You seem triggered. You seem emotionally unstable. Listen, listen, listen. That's all fine. That's all fine. We didn't say nothing. Well, I think we're in good faith. Listen, of all due respect, I mean, what we can do now I is... No, you, about, okay, no problem. Let, will you okay, take no back problem, what you no problem. Will you have to take no back problem, everything No problem, no problem. Let's, let's not have... listen to you. Will you take listen, back everything Listen, let's just finish. Let's, let's, listen, 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 give listen. me a chance to speak. Give me a chance to speak. Sure, all I'm right. saying all I'm saying now, putting all of the hostilities and the toxicities to the side... I will not put it aside. Oh, well, if you can't, if you can't manage that, right? If you can't manage that, then you can't manage freedom of speech. We're people that have much bigger platforms than you. We're giving you a chance, okay, as an unqualified person who, as you are, Shut to actually make a case you against your, Islam. You have look, made look, 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 please, oh, please. I don't tell me about giving people a chance. Please, please, please. A few moments later. Look, look, don't be emotional. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You, don't be scared. you seem jittery. Don't be jittery. This, don't be scared. I'm not, shut the hell up. This is not about Okay, calm down. Calm down. Don't be angry. Take a chill pill, man. Just calm down. Calm down. We're talking normally. Look. You know what, ours. He's a friend of ours. He is very educated. He is. He is. Uh, inspired, why take it off your headphones? Put your headphones on. Can you hear us? Let me speak. All right, speak, 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 speak. Please do. Please right, do. let me speak. Listen, here, he said, he just said, present your strongest I argument you. against Islam. Sorry, right. I, I didn't, oh, I don't, well, I don't feel very well. well. Number one. Public figure, which you might uh, find distasteful. You're, give me a second. you're now panicking and having an anxiety attack. Ouch. <laughs> give me a second. Six and a half hours later. This argument against Islam. Thank you. Are you, are you, are you I'm one by insults insults are freedom of speech that's what no, you believe no they're not what are your degrees <laughs> what are your degrees it I've doesn't been matter to you it doesn't matter to you yeah. according to you does freedom of speech mean that you can say whatever you want and nobody should get angry about this Hap it's very happy days for you when you come up and rip the quran and eat it and spit it out it's freedom of speech but if you cannot handle yeah the freedom of speech when it comes back at you do not try and give it to people, a community of people, by eating, spitting out the Quran, laughing at the Quran, and so on and so forth. Because that would imply that you are a person of weakness. You're an Was individual. that my question? Yeah, yeah. So th that, that's, that, that answers your question. Wait, let me respond. Was that my question? Do you really think yeah. that was my question? What's your question? Just repeat it for yourself. Was that really my question? What was your my question? Que my question was, according to your understanding of freedom of speech, yes. does freedom of speech mean that you can say whatever you want and no one can be angered about it? No, not and whatever you want. There, there are laws of libel. There are laws of defamation. There are laws of copyright. There that's are not the point. Laws. So there are... Uh, sense your freedom of speech, I will include this in my upcoming video about you, Mohammed Tijab. Uh, I, I think... You think you can evade that, but uh, I have a video up upcoming about you in which I'll be killed. Let me, well, Apus, listen, I'm telling you right in front of you. Fuck up. Don't call me Apus, okay? You're un un unqualified understanding of it. Yeah. You're, you're not qualified, are you? Let's be honest. You don't have any training in Islam, do you? That's true. That's true. You don't have any training in Islam. Do you have any according, training in Islam? According to Islam. 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 Yeah. So what do you offer? If you want to talk about whether Islam is the truth or not, then we can unite and talk uh, talk on a third-party oh, platform. Islam is the truth. Of us don't know is what do you want to say? Jesus yeah, let's talk Christ. right now. Then we can, we can talk on... No, no, seriously, so, I mean... Well, this, I'm, is, this, this is the fourth time that you are refusing to have a debate with me. Uh, no, I'm making excuses. No, you're refusing. What? We're still arguing. We're waiting for the debate. We're waiting for him, man. So what I'm saying, understand. come down to London. We come down to. No. If you want to debate, I'm not. No. I'm never gonna. I'll come never down. down from any no. Islamophobe on the face of the earth. Let me tell you this. I'll make it clear. Any Islamophobe challenges me in any way. Any Islamophobe, and I'm not gonna retract this. It challenges me in any way, unless I'm physically injured or incapable. Yeah. If they challenge me conversationally, physically in the ring, in the in the in the, on the stage, I'm there. I get knocked out, I'm there. If if Ngannou, if Francis on Ghanu, we should we should debate that. Comes from Allah. How do we prove it? We show that look, the Quran is cosmologically coherent with the seventh century. You have an opportunity. 
your 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 goal in life is to try and show people that people Islam is false. You have an opportunity with. I the, will use that opportunity once you allow me to have a even, debate. You even want to oh. put that? Listen, like, this isn't going nowhere. He, he already had. This he, isn't going nowhere. He already has no it. training. I have no degree. Oh, you, you have you have certificates. What are you good at? I, you, you what know what you I could. You, you have you have three. You have you have, you have, you, have, you, have, you have three certificates, right? I could I could go and I could. Instead of leaving Islam was a. I, I could, I could currently, I could pay four thousand dollars to get a certificate in Islamic studies, yeah, and then I would be qualified to to to. to, to the... <laughs> you got to do ten years of study to come back to me. And it's ten and years. Honestly, have yeah. you studied? Have you studied each of your four areas for ten years? All together. Not, not of course. You're not, you're not going to go to a doctor and say, "Well, what, what, I'm, what, what certificates you have? Oh, I've just been doing online videos." So, no, so you got qualified. Has certificates. The guy has his uh, qualifications. Otherwise, you're not going to go to that doctor. So, Muhammad Tijabis, why, why should we go to you for Islam? Muhammad why? Tijabis qualified in four areas, including having certificates of one yeah, year. Yeah, four areas. That's I, right. would be, I, I would not be qualified in Islamic studies by getting a certificate. I can talk about political philosophy if I want. I can talk about history if I want. I can talk about comparative religion you if I want. You don't even understand freedom of speech. Islam you don't understand moral philosophy. Why? Because I've been through processes. You haven't. Because I'm an atheist who doesn't believe in God. That means I have no morals. And, uh, okay, let me ask you a question. Let me have no morals by ripping you up. You ripped up the Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry for people like you. I'm sorry for people like you, Apus. I'm genuinely sorry because what are you doing with your life right Adam, now? Adam, Adam Sally, you have an IQ of 80, 85. Maybe. Oh, you don't have an IQ. Stop talking to me about Apus. Of one. You're, you're, you're a loser. You're a loser. One, you're a loser. Is, one is not how IQ works. So Turkish <laughs> people do not claim you. Turkish people do not claim you. I don't care if he's an athlete. Subscribe it. He's, he's a creative. No, no. I, I, I am deeply sorry. If you insult me, I will insult you back. That's what just happened. I'm going to insult you. Look, look, look. Adam Sally has an athlete. That is Body. I'm, ask, I'm asking you a question. I don't care. I I have no muscles here. I have no muscles. I don't care. No, it means nothing. Relax. relax. What you're saying? You, your so child is killing you. Me. Nothing. No, no, no. Your question about moral. I'm, I'm asking you a simple question. Yeah, yeah. Because I do not believe in God, and because I am an atheist, do you, as somebody who claims to be an expert in philosophy, do you think it is right to claim that I can have no morals, and that it is therefore for me completely indifferent? You what ripped the Quran. Quran. You laughed at someone eating the Quran. You answer your you, question. Answer your question. Like you just quite, ask, quite ask, ask the question. As far as I listen, you shouldn't do this. Why? Because on because on atheism you have no mechanism which anchors morality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I've done I've done the work. You haven't. That's the difference. But there's even even people like John Stuart Mill. We talk about liberalism. Yeah, they candidly tell you there is no proof that can tell you objectively. In the book of uh, on utilitarianism, there, there's no proof to show that this is an object of morality. So what I'll say is that give me your mechanism, because you're on the record of saying that bestiality is okay. You're on the record of saying that I'm, I'm, I have never said that. I have I have I have never said that bestiality is okay. I've never even talked about bestiality. Incest is okay. You said incest is okay. No, I have never said that either. You said that. Well, I you think incest is okay? I, right? have, I have I have never said that. Whoa. I've seen that DM know, uh, on Ali Dawa, and I, I see that DM. You I said Ali Dawah. I've seen what you wrote. Right, we will see I if have you never said that. But, hey man. I, 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 I've, I've said to Ali, I've, I've said to Ali Dawa, he asked me, "Do you think it's okay for a for the father and the son to have sex?" I yeah. said, "If there was no harm to society, oh, the individual, whoa, there no was harm to like, society. Whoa, 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 hey, yo, shut up!" Go. I said, "If there whoa, evidently whoa, was no hey, harm yo, to society and to, and, and to the individuals in having incest, then there would be no problem with it." Oh, but oh, wow. but wow. that is not reality because. The but hump. that is not but that is not reality because the hump such, going on such a intercourse will have a uh, harm on the individuals and the society which is why incest is not okay right. can you what I, what I clearly said can you objectively prove the harm principle we can we could come in who is who is born into the world yeah has has an objective has objective moral values i do not believe that no that I, doesn't make sense what you're saying doesn't make sense then for what? a brute like you i would like to say uh there is a difference between saying a society has intrinsic morality and the difference between saying society. A, a society should have morality or well, a society well, should society have morals and society has well, morals. Do morals exist as an objective reality or not? Um, yes or do you, That is, is not how it works. That is not how this works. Yeah, really. So there's something that's called moral realism. What's no, moral? The person can have objective moral values, subjective moral values, relative moral values. And moral are, they? are they objective or subjective? What? In your view. Say it again. I didn't listen to you. Okay. My, my question to you is so simple. Like, what? my question to you is morality, is it objective 
or not? Are there such a thing as objective moral? I don't think so. So okay, good. So 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 then, therefore, all of your moral arguments have have collapsed against Islam. Oh, so no. they, yeah, because that's anything that you say about Islam now, anything works. that you say about Islam now morally doesn't make that's sense. Not how morality works. It's morality. That's not Object how morality works. You do not how morality works. So you yourself have... believe it's objective. It's not true. It's not objective. A nihilist, a nihilist for example, can be a nihilist in uh, in so far that he does not believe that there are natural moral values. Nihilism is not synonymous with objectivity. Right? What are you talking about? A nihilist may believe that there are no. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 I'm not saying it's not subjective. It's not synonymous. Nihilism is something which is. Of course, it's not. Nihilism, yeah, so you're, you're saying you're a subjectivist. If you're a subjectivist. I am not. No, you said you're not an objectivist. You must be a subjectivist. What are you then? No, stop pretending you. Stop wait, 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 did you just say if I'm not an objectivist, then I must be a subjectivist? Is that you have to be? If you're not, if you don't believe in objective morality, what are you laughing at, so, man? So if I if I don't believe in objective morality, then I have to believe in subjective morality. Yeah, because either objective or subjective, you've got two choices. What, what's the third option? Go on. Thank you, thank you. Bro, you're not even on A level. Bro, I swear to God, wallahi, oksum billah, you're not even a C grade A level. You're not even a C grade. If I were to, I were to mark your work, bro, you're not a C grade. You're not on, bro, a year 10, year 11 in ethics can get a better understanding of you. I'm saying a 16 year old, a sharp 16 year old will see that you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Now, what is the other option? You've got objective morality, subjective morality. What's the third one? 2,000 years of, of moral philosophy. No, go on, say it. What's the third nothing. option? You've either got... 2,000 years of moral you have philosophy. No answer. Nothing because you've either got not objective moral. morality, subjective morality. What's the other one? What What's do you do you think do you think there is no other option besides objective? Yeah, or yeah. I'm saying there's only it's either objective or subjective. Is what's the third one? You, so you think there is only objective? Oh my god! What's the third one? To say, <laughs> are you laughing? At? That's not an answer, bro. I, I will make a video response to you because I think this will be. You hilarious. don't need to make a video response if it's not objective. It has to be subjective. No, it's not. You're gonna get laughed at. You know, cosmic skeptic yeah. them guys. They're gonna laugh at you, bro. They're gonna start to associate with this idiot. Of all oh. due respect, you have not. It, it, yeah level yeah. understanding of morality. I have just, I have I just asked you. Not, I have I have just, not. If it's not objective, it has to be subjective. There's no other option. What can it be? There's no crossover. There's no middle ground. It's either objective or not. You're, you, that, that's the, that's why, why you got it all wrong. That's why your criticisms against Islam are flawed because you don't even have a basic understanding of moral philosophy. You don't. So, and you can't pretend so you do. To, you have to, to, the, to, the, to the Muslim viewers who don't uh, understand philosophy very well. Bro, you okay. don't know it. You have no... <laughs> You don't know. I'm saying. I'm saying to all those viewers who don't understand philosophy very well. I would like to say uh, so what Mohammed Hijab said about uh, objective morality is, for example, completely wrong. Which is uh, go on. Give me the third option. If, if if I don't if I don't believe in objective morality, for example, if I'm yes. a person who believe in objective morality, yes. that, that doesn't mean that I cannot have objective moral values. It can mean that my saying, objective... saying, you either believe in objective morality or you believe in subjective morality. There's no third option. What's the third no, option? You have, no, you have just clearly said as of when I, when I asked you, you have What's just the third option. What is the third option? Stop laughing. Stop pretending. When I, when to I, just, when I just when I just asked, when I just asked thank you. Whether, thank you. When I just asked you about whether an atheist can have objective morality, you said that. Bro, you don't you, 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 oh my God! We know he said that. What's the third? What's the third? I know. Atheist You had hope in this guy. The great atheist, uh, atheist can have objective morals. Bro, an atheist, an atheist an objective. objective. There's no third option. An atheist, what's the third option? An atheist may have objective what's moral, morals that are. What's the third option? They have objective morals that are not based on the belief in God, for example. Which is... not, that's a different discussion. You either believe in objective morality or subjective morality. You're saying there's a third option. What is the third option? I will say it to you. I will surprise you. There's no third option. You will not. My standards. You're playing by your standards. Whatever, I'm man. My standards. Standards. I will. I will yeah. take my discussions to my platform and respond to you. Be... We, the implication is any argument you get, make against Islam, which is moral, if you're asking about. Uh, age of consent or apostasy or a penal laws or anything you want to ask from this day onwards you have no that's right to that is ridiculous. Who, who, who made the idea of utilitarian who is the, who is the philosophical founding father of utilitarianism that's, that's not how this works philosophy doesn't that's work in a way that if you who, who, who put forward utilitarianism let me educate you uh, you can't because i'm telling you who is the founding father of utilitarianism you can't even answer that <laughs> Is this, that, 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 no, 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 the definition of utilitarianism. What's the definition of utilitarianism? 
I can have a utilitarian point of view why what? not abiding by certain. I'll ask you a basic question, man. What's the never answers no question. You don't ask me, you don't ask me a question. What's I the definition know. of utilitarianism? Because you have to pretend. Decide that some, I'm answering your goddamn question. What? Because you have to decide that something is good, that something is better for. Utilitarianism, utilitarianism is not defined like that by any moral or political philosopher. <laughs> Let me tell you. Utilitarianism. <laughs> yeah. What, what, listen, what Jeremy Bentham in his book he said he said it's very it's interesting because there's a Quranic argument against this. It's really interesting. He said you got two lords. You got the Lord of Pain and you got the Lord of Pleasure. What the Quran says, utilitarianism is the name of the book. On chapter four, yeah, he he talked about proving utilitarianism. Now he didn't mention he didn't name it like that. He named it a long uh, thing as cosmic skeptics told me in the debate. But anyway, he took like a, a long um, title. But it's candid in there. He talks about desirability. Yeah, He doesn't in any way, shape or form try and say that utilitarianism is in any way an object of morality. This is the problem. You're, what I'm saying is you're yeah. saying you can have objective moral value judgments on utilitarianism. Correct. You don't have an objective so, morality. So I have just described oh, utilitarianism. God, the answer is this and that. You can't I, say based on utilitarianism. Because even according to those guys and all the way through to today's scholarship, I'm telling you that utilitarian liberal ethical scholars say that actually, what have you got left? <laughs> exactly, exactly. He's so, just laughing. <laughs> I thought he had packed the punch a little bit because he was coming rough on Twitter. He was coming tough on Twitter. He yeah. was, oh, he was going to crap. I thought this guy was eating the Quran. You are an idiot. Literally, literally. literally. Yeah. Yeah. You have no knowledge. You have no knowledge. <laughs> All of you have no understanding of Islam. Your Bro, religion is I have to say this. Your religion is fraud. You. You're, you're a fraud. You have been Very funny. Uh, just give me a second. Ouch. Give me a second. So I posted several. Uh, oh. Sorry. Mm. Which paper? Sorry, I, I didn't. Oh, I don't. I don't feel very well. I have an anxiety issue, which is why I don't want to have these conversations with these people because afterwards it just turns into a whole. Uh, whole shit show where they start to uh, get personal, don't abide by their uh, conditions. And I just, I cannot have these these interactions with these people where they uh, completely refuse to be honest and refuse to, um, refuse to have civil conversations. I mean,